good acting. Yeah. The stuff that made the show so popular. That could have been cool. That guy was even kicking at anything. Just go go back a little bit. That guy in the background was not even kicking at anybody. He was just doing No, no, no. Wait. Oh, hold on. Which yeah, one? No. Yeah, watch that guy in the back. That's guy in the back right there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he kicking at? Wow. You know what? I thought he was doing something. He kicked nothing. When, when I saw it, I thought he was shooting fire from his face. From his foot. Oh no! No, <laughs> no, that, no. That he came out. out, came out but that, yeah, that came from behind his head. Hey, everybody, Corey here. Now, before we start the review, I need to let you know that this video has been approved and sponsored by AMC Shutter. Go to Shutter.com. S H U D D E R dot com. Why? Because if you're a horror fan, they got all the horror that you need. But they also have so many other categories. They have crime. They have thrillers. They got sci-fi. They got comedy. They also have horror documentaries. And they have the master of suspense himself. Alfred Hitchcock. Several of his classics found in one place, including one of my favorites right here, Vertigo. Beautifully shot. Masterly crafted mystery thriller right here. It just so happens that one of my favorite things on Shudder is an original series creep show. And you know what? You're just in luck to get on Shudder right now and get ready for season two that's coming up very soon. There's some device in your home that Shudder supports. You ain't got no excuse. You want me to name them? All right, I got you. You ain't getting out of this. We have iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV. You want me to keep going? I will. Google Chromecast, Roku, Android devices. You got no excuse. Shutter can follow you around like a serial killer or a stalker wherever you go. For right now, you can get Shutter. You can look at the. You can get all of this horror right here and more for the simple price of five ninety nine per month or fifty six ninety nine per year. How about this? Go over to Shutter.com and type in the promo code. Let me see right here. If you're a toaster, you know how to spell it, but I want to make sure that I get it right. Type in the promo code, double toasted. It's all one word. D-O-U-B-L-E-T-O-A-S-T-E-D. Put that in, the promo code right there, and you'll get Shutter 30 days for free. Once again, this video has been approved and sponsored by AMC Shutter. Thank you for your support and thank you for listening. I have never watched the TV show The Last Airbender. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar the he's like, get it right. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. Look at people now. What shit hold me back this mother right here? Are you serious? It, it's been get on out. out. Get out. Cancel. <laughs> ain't, ain't that the shit that, that cancels me, man? <laughs> Out of all you the sexist and else. racist <laughs> shit I done talked about, that now, now this shit right here. You've never seen what? Oh, no. Hell no. Out! But it's my... Out! Okay. Sorry. Would it help if I told you I had a good excuse? <laughs> what could it possibly be? Yeah, man, I'm curious, like, actually. Because you talk about how you watch all these PBS cartoons for little kids, and yet somehow... Le Avatar, you couldn't watch. Watching Kalu over <laughs> Avatar Less Airbender. <laughs> the magic school bus. Let me, man, let me tell you something. We still trying to learn how to read? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was, man, look. Those are episodic and they're very light. <laughs> Last Airbender, man, that's, that's an investment. You know, that, that takes time. And, I, and, I, and you know what? I recognize and I respect that. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Aang can save the world. Oh, we! Now I saw that, and I'm, listen. I swear to y'all, I wouldn't lie to you. I swear to you. Uh, I was about to cut this on, and get into the first episode. I was about to watch the shit out of this series right here, and because I was a little late, all of a sudden, the movie dropped, and out of my responsibility for being a good critic, man, I said, you know what? How is it going to look if I go in there right when the movie's out and I go and watch this and I carry a bias in from the show? <laughs> There's enough people who are already talking about how much they are hating this before it's even released, this movie right here. And I saw that and I said, you know, I have to do my responsibility to actually hold back. That show will be there all the time. Let me see this first and then I'll come back and I'll be able to give you a fair review without bringing in all that baggage. Wouldn't you know it, though, that night there were two 
movie short at the same time, and I couldn't go see this. Mm. I think you went to go see it I instead. Did go see it. Yeah. I said, you know what? Let me hold off, and I'll watch the movie, and then I'll give the review. It only took about ten years. <laughs> 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 now here we are. Even if you weren't watching the show, it was really easy to make fun of this movie before it was out because of the man himself, M. Night Shyamalan, right here. M. Night Shyamalan had just come off of a couple of major flops. I mean, it was uh, 2008. 2008, he had just, uh, he had just, now this movie, The Last Airbender, is 2010. Mm-hmm. 2008, he just came off of this film. Run. Shut the windows and the doors! It's wind! <laughs> <laughs> he made a movie, <laughs> this fool made a movie about Mark Wahlberg running from wind. <laughs> running from shit you can't even see. Running from trees. Mm-hmm. Things that don't move. Yeah. <laughs> Nature fights back. Plants whispered to people, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and come in here cold with this movie so I can give my opinion on this. Give a fresh opinion without any kind of bias at all. Not focusing on how different it is from the TV show. Did it make a difference? Did it make for a different experience for the inexperienced, such as myself? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this trailer right here. I always knew you return. To destroy you. I like the beginning of a Michael Jackson video. Shit, I thought I gonna put out a white hat. Lean on the lean. And we all need him. There is a lead up with this on how I discovered things throughout this film. And again, went in totally ignorant, not knowing anything about, as I told you, uh, the, the animated show. The classic masterpiece that people say on Nickelodeon. Watching this, going in cold, uh, I got to tell you, there was, a, there was a big lead up to how I experienced this film. And please, guys, come in at any moment. Fill me in, correct me, ask questions, give your feelings on this. But I'm going to tell you how I first, a newbie right here, went into this. Um, now, for some, again, someone who doesn't know, before you get mad, because a lot of with me uttering these words, people are already going to start wanting to kill me for this. But I, I, I dare say, <laughs> it started out on a good note. <laughs> Look, Mars like, why did you say that? <laughs> there are gonna be people waiting on you outside, ready to kill you. Yeah. They'll cough on you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward end. to you because I, I I rewatched some of this recently. So. Pete, look at the chat. People yeah. are ready talking about. I've, I've I've seen my. Let me. There it is. The, my, my first. What <laughs> you? Let me duck real quick. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be somebody. You're right, Chris. Somebody's going to be outside. Hey, Corey Coleman, yes? <laughs> oh, God! Even though right off the bat there were some things, you know, but, but besides some, at the very beginning, some notably see, uh, no, noticeably bad green screen going on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my God. So bad. God damn. <laughs> Hey, they put them on a green screen and took some shit from National Geographic. Right there. That's like green screen from the seventies. What about the story? And I and I have to say, man, uh, looking at this at the beginning, they open with uh, your, your 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 two characters right here, uh, Soka, Jackson Rathbone, and Katara, Nicola Peltz. Mm. I think that's how you say their names. Did I say, did I say the characters' names right? Right no. now. Uh, how do you say them? Yeah, well, the movie mispronounces them. That's yeah, one of the that's, big... That's uh, okay, uh, so I didn't do that. Yeah, no, yeah, you're, you're fine. The movie t- taught you wrong, Corey. It's not okay. your fault. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. it's Sokka and Katara. Yeah. Oh, look at this. The miseducation of Corey Coleman. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's, it's not, not your not, fault. He says it's not your fault. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this public school system told me to watch this one first. <laughs> it opens with them finding... And again, people, y'all know the story. I don't. It opens with them finding little boy... Thawed out in ice, Captain America Captain style. America. <laughs> yeah, the big ass the uh, the flying buffalo right here, some big ass creature, which is attracting some very ominous people. 
I said, all right, you know what you're doing? You're doing this right. What you what you've done is you giving me mystery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is this child? What are they doing here? You know, I'm intrigued at this point. So nice start from the beginning right there. That's how stories should start. It's just have you start by asking what is going on. Now, I do have to admit it didn't take long for things to get questionable. <laughs> Cause I gotta tell you, man, for 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 a little boy who's been frozen in ice and just thought out and don't know who these people are, don't know where the fuck he is. He should have handled that well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, handled that, he handled that shit like a champ. Oh, it was like it was nothing. Barely an, an, an inconvenience. Oh, I didn't see you standing there. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> you're like, oh, shit, she coming. Let me see. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Stupid ass. I ran away from home. We got in a storm. I probably should get home. Oh, I'll be worried. You not still upset? Not as much as I was. You goddamn right, you ain't. <laughs> Seem like you ain't phased by this at all. And can I say, I was just like, God damn, people, we just got started. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the this is the beginning. This is this is the way you want to make an impression. They talk like they talk like people text. Yes, they do. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they and, and what you, they, what they, you can see in that scene, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you can see in that scene is that they aren't acting with each other. It's, I'm going to film you and you say all your lines and mm -hmm. I'm going to move the camera and now you say all your lines and we're going to splice it together. People, and I'm talking about, I mean, but God damn, I've seen actors who can act next to a tennis ball. Yes. These motherfuckers are like two computers talking to each other. Yep. I see. It wasn't very smart. I was just upset. Thanks for saving me. Lucky. Jeez, I'm surprised he didn't follow up. Like, he didn't say, like, LOL smile emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this? I was like, God damn, they're flat. Yeah. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I said, maybe there's some trauma that's affecting his acting. <laughs> <laughs> his dialogue delivery. You know, maybe he got hit. And I mean, he's, he's fucked been, up. He's been frozen for a while. You yeah. know, maybe, maybe his talent hasn't thawed out yet. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little derpy now. I'm like, yeah, yeah you know. A little hypothermia. Look, little motherfucker just got out of ice. I got to be cool here, man. I'm just like, all right, Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he just hasn't, you know, warmed up to his skills yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to give them a chance, but like I said, I haven't, I haven't seen this before. You know they didn't freeze that actor for real. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I was wondering. Right. <laughs> Shit, because he act like he don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm not upset. <laughs> Shit, I was trying to find the scar in the back of his hair. They lobotomized his mother. <laughs> we fell in the water. <laughs> it was very silly. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was his first film. Yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I let him talk. And I, that's why I said, man, this actor here uh, forgot his name. Oh, y'all tell me his name, man. Noah Hotley? I might be wrong. Noah, yeah, Noah Armstrong or something like yeah. that. But that's his first movie. Okay. So I, 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 I said, you know what? Uh, they should cast somebody who knows what the they're doing, but I'm gonna let it slide. May, <laughs> maybe, maybe, oh, maybe, oh, in night, maybe, oh, Shyamalan had faith in the rest of the cast. You can have an actor that's not so good if they're surrounded by other good actors. Yep, and that's what I thought. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and just that's his first film. I don't know what they cast him, but I maybe it's diversity or some shit. I don't know. Let me go ahead and see. Maybe the maybe the supporting cast will bring in will, will bring it in. Maybe they will actually do. <laughs> maybe supporting cast will actually support him. That's a lot of fucking support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little boy carried a lot of weight with him. But I said, you know what? Because I like Dev Patel. I said, I've seen him in things. I like, you know what? Let me see what he does. He comes in pretty early right after that. He'll rescue this. I am Prince Zuko. Bring me all oh, your. Every, no, it's every mother. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's and, everybody. And, and, and he's at that speed through the entire movie as yeah. well. Oh, just yeah. angry. Is, yeah, just angry. Mm. Yeah, just angry. He mm -hmm. plays Zuko. I just, I said, yeah, well, <laughs> that answers that question. <laughs> what you see is what you get. What you hear <laughs> is what you get. The acting in here is so, is so bad because everybody is directed to take this so seriously. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a light, fun adventure. This motherfucker thought he was making Hamlet. 
yeah. It's very stagey. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. it is. Very stagey, yeah. yeah. The main character's name is what? Aang? Uh, yes. Yes, you said it correctly. Yeah, and they, the they, they mispronounce it throughout this movie. Well, they say Aang. Aang. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, you say Aang, I say Aang. I'll go with Aang. But, as I said here, man, this is, this is the boy's first movie. So, you know, he's, I tell you what. Because the, the only person that's having the, the, the most fun in this and trying to emote is the worst actor in here. The character that plays Aang. Hey, Chinzo! Monet! I'm back! Hey, guys! I want you to meet someone! You know everybody's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Everybody's like, everybody's hiding. They're like, shh, he's annoying as fuck. No, shh. Look, he's acting with robot hands. I know. Yeah. What do I do with these? What do I do with my yeah. hands? Hey, guys. <laughs> Anybody here? Shit, this motherfucker might as well have done this. Hey! Hey, everybody! <laughs> Where'd you go? This is where you live? They must be playing some trick or something. <laughs> God damn, you know, you know the person that played Anakin Skywalker in the episode one, he's like, well, you know, that ain't me. <laughs> it could be worse. Jake Lloyd's a better actor. Jake Lloyd yeah, could yeah, say, you know what? Actor. At least I wasn't the dude that played in Avatar. <laughs> he's horrible. But at least everybody else is taking this so seriously. He's at least he's the one that's saying, you know what? This is my first movie. I ain't gonna let y'all f this up for me. I mean, I'm doing that on my own, <laughs> but, but I'm gonna have a good time with this. Everyone else in this movie shows no emotion at all i'm like is anybody having fun with this shit you just gotta wonder if everybody's just having a good time and when he walks in everybody's like ah oh, mm, here we playing. go all right mm. everybody gets serious we're all acting <laughs> <laughs> everybody in the movie they act so because you ain't seen nothing everybody acts so matter of factly yeah stagey as you say yeah Especially the villains, mm. boy. Don't you do not want to be in the same room when these motherfuckers get together? Oh no, <laughs> it is dry. Yeah, that dialogue is not even emotionless. It's just dry. With this information, we could bring down the Northern Water Tribe city. I am pleased. Are you? <laughs> Are you really? Man, you look overjoyed. Cliff Curtis is the most versatile brown actor in the world. No, I know. No matter what race it is, if they're brown, he's played it. He's played it over here looking like Brown Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so worse, what makes that so terrible is that it's all exposition. Yeah. It's all stuff like we need to get this, I'm translating this to do that, to, to kill these people, and that's all it is. And even Cliff Curtis, he's like looking off to the side like he gets bored. <laughs> and just yeah. like the audience, it's so bad. And the thing that makes it even worse, Asif Manvi, who is a I'm shocked to see him play this character, because uh, he's like he's a comedic, he's a comedic uh, uh, yeah, actor, and uh, they just get him saying the same thing over and over again. I yeah. think I counted like five or six times. He's talking about these goddamn scrolls from yeah. this library. <laughs> I'm sick of it. This movie is f lifeless, man. Mm. Lifeless. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm I. I look at this, and you know, that's dry. These people are trying to do what they can do with the material. They, mm -hmm. they, it's they, which is not much. They're trying to do what they can do with the direction, but there's not much that they can do with it. Well, it's an effects green screen movie, so they have to just trust that. Okay, I guess he's gonna know what he's doing when it's all put together. Yeah. Doesn't make sense to us now, but I'm sure mm -hmm. that when it's all together, it'll. But be besides fine. you, <clears throat> besides little Ang right here. You know, everybody else is just trying. You can tell that they're capable actors, kind of, but you know, they just they there's just nothing them to do. Now, <laughs> you know, the 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 smaller su supporting roles, those dudes are just bad. Terrible. That stage shit that you're talking about, they are bad stage actors. Mm -hmm. They they those people are truly the worst. The avatar would have to be an airbender. Are you an airbender boy? <laughs> okay, cut. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you get the. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just... That that's like an off off Broadway actor. Yeah, mm -hmm. take that, take all that shit off, and get the <laughs> out. <laughs> Give him his check and tell him to go fuck home. Don't you ever come back around here again. Can't believe we gave him a line. This he, he, he thought he was doing something too. Shit, Mama gonna be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar would have to be an Airbender. Are you an airbender boy? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's probably the only thing that he wasn't doing he was acting. That laugh was for real. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> I like the way uh, 
What, how do you say that? Qatar. Qatar. I like the way Qatar is about to run up on his ass, too. You see talk this? about my man that way. <laughs> you, you see this shit just for the joke alone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, look at this. Are you an airbender boy? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm There is one other actor who seems like he's into this for exactly the wrong reasons. Jackson Rathbone. Oh, yeah. Jackson Rathbone looked like he just did lines upon a mound of coke before he got onto the set. I did 50 shots of espresso. Whatever it is, he looks like he's on some shit and not acting from a natural place. Mm -hmm. His eyes are about to pop out his goddamn head. His eyes are the most intense thing in this movie. We'll come with you. I could take you back to the village. <laughs> She's looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> we will. <laughs> She's like, blink, mother. <laughs> right now he's looking at three airbenders he's like trying to figure out which one is real <laughs> shit <laughs> he's hit his brother's eyes he is intense man I don't know what shit that he's on and it's funny because he does uh, Noah Ranger is the kid's name Noah Ranger, Noah Ranger the kid that plays Aang uh, the actor who plays who plays Aang Noah Ranger he's cheap he tries to keep up with him in one scene, <laughs> and it, it, what they end up looking like, end up looking like two two cokeheads at a party. <laughs> Are really powerful benders in the, in the Northern Water Tribe. My dad told me about it before he left. It's led by a princess because her father died. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you see him blink. Yeah, it's like Quentin Tarantino and his dealer. <laughs> we can get there on Appa. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we can stop in the villages on the way. Start a change in the war in these small villages. Yeah, it's genius, man. We'll stop and pick up burgers. That'll be fucking great, man. We'll buy a puppy. You're awesome, man. You see that ass is blinking? No. Do this, dude. Yeah, the casting is all weird too, man. Uh, you no, know, speaking of uh, uh, Soka or uh, Jackson Rathbone. And the girl plays his sister, uh, Katara. Uh, forgot her the actress's name, but uh, yeah, it was weird in the beginning because I noticed that, like, at first I didn't think anything of it because it was two white actors just just walked out alone on a really shitty green screen. Mm -hmm. But then they went back to the village. <laughs> I noticed at the village, it's like, okay, why are the extras like ethnic? Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Only only yeah. those two and their and their grandmother were like uh -huh. the white people in the village that. Got the most screen time. I was like, and it was very clear. Like, okay, listen, we ain't gonna sell this movie until we, uh, unless we got at least two main white actors here. And that's the thing. It's, it's one of those where it's like, wait, so you whitewash two of the main, <coughs> main, main characters. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it'd be one thing if it's because okay, but these are really good actors, or well, these are two really famous actors. We need to sell the movie, but they're neither. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 terrible. And you go, who? Like, okay, Jackson Rathbone, you might recognize him from Twilight. Twilight, yeah, yeah. But more than likely not. I mean, the, the sacrifice was not nearly worth it. Yeah. Again, I think that's interesting because I'm not knowing anything. That's what I noticed on my own with this. And that seemed very odd. But back to the acting with this, you know, the big problem is that in Night Shyamalan, what we see here is uh, not only a problem with the uh, – the writing of the dialogue, but it's his direction style, mm -hmm. our directing style. He, you know, he has done this for so many of his movies. You know, that very, that very somber type of acting, that low-key acting, mm -hmm. yeah. almost mumble acting. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why he's done that is because it has worked for him for so many movies, which, okay, it, it works for either your first couple of movies are it works for a movie that has the right atmosphere something that's dark something that's gloomy something that it is, is itself low-key which why nobody noticed with uh, the sixth sense that acting style sometimes you feel it inside like you're falling down real fast you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck yes that's them you know but that doesn't work for a high-spirited kids adventure exactly yeah at that point it was the the bad acting in the dialogue that revealed so much as to what are the major problems with this film. I mean, those are some already. But, you know, the, the there's so much more of what brought this movie down. There's so many other levels. It was almost like 
<clears throat> once I discovered it, it was almost like a chain reaction. Yeah. It's like, okay, so this is bad because of this. Oh, and that itself is bad because of this. Mm. You were mentioning something already, which is everybody talks in exposition. Yeah. Yeah. All of this is an exposition, man. Uh, and it's long, badly delivered exposition. Who are you? Fire Nation sent soldiers. And they sent their machines. Huge machines made of metal. There's nothing we could do. Those who could not bend were allowed. Aang is like, you know what? I'm sorry I asked. I know. <laughs> he's, looking, he's already about to walk off. Look at, he's like, you know what? Thank you, sir. TLDR. <laughs> yeah. The same thing that Cliff Curtis did. He got bored. Yeah. Looking yeah. to the side. <laughs> Aang, he's, Aang, Aang, to me. he's walking <laughs> off. He's like, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, here's, a do- here's a dollar. Here. <laughs> <laughs> If they're not, if they're not uh, uh, over-explaining on screen, they're over-explaining with a really bad narration in the movie. Uh, let me see. I bought, there was a point here where I even had that. Like the, I don't know how you f- up narration. You're not even supposed. You're not even really, really acting. You're not on screen. <laughs> you know, you just. If there's spot. a way, <laughs> they M Night did it. You got to give him that. <laughs> he, fa- he found a way. Shit will find a way. Ong flew us to his home. He told us how he left there in a storm on Appa and got forced into the ocean where they almost drowned. Drowned? It was like... <laughs> a little motion there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's bit. better than what we were getting before. Yeah, yeah. It's like, look, we're not going to film any of this shit. Just, just say it. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so much exposition in the movie. There's so much, uh, 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 there's so many scenes with people just talking things out that they really should be trying to tell through a story. Even the characters in the movie get tired of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> characters in the movie, just they just say, F-, they just get up and leave. He can't even look at me sometimes. He says I'm like my mother. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, I'm not finished. Did you hear about my mom? That's the 23rd long story today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, fuck, I hate man. I'm tired of hearing your shit. Uh huh. See, that's what you get. <laughs> Sit up there talking so much, you, you played yourself. <laughs> Well, you about to say something? Sorry. No, I was, I was going to say, well, that's, I mean, the reason why they have so much exposition in this movie is because the fact they're trying to fit in 20 episodes worth of, uh, yeah. of, of the series. And yeah. because this movie is about, what, an hour and a half, maybe hour 40 minutes at most, you're not going to be able to do that. And so they feel obligated to include all this stuff in here just for it to make any sense. But it doesn't because it's so overwhelming. It's too much. It and then you have, because, because, all the, because you have so much exposition, all the actors feel so stilted and weird. And you, you don't get any emotion from that's it. That's what I was it wondering. It all feeds into itself. I, you know, that's going to be one of my questions. That's what I was wondering. Like, is, is it because... It's because they had so many seasons. No, well, this, this, is one, this is it's, one season. Yeah, he's trying to do do the one season. Yeah, twenty episodes though, which is a lot of material. It's yeah. like ten plus hours of TV. Mm-hmm. Really? So it's just it's just one season that they're that they're trying to yeah. uh, to, to to fit into this because mm-hmm. which is a fool's errand to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I didn't know. I thought maybe they were trying to fit in like several no, no. seasons. No. Again, not having watched the show, I said, man, you you're breezing through shit. Mm-hmm. You're skipping things. You're mm-hmm. you're having characters tell. Which, by the way, all characters. You're having them tell things just to rush them into the story. I noticed that early on in the beginning when uh, Sokka and Katara were talking to uh, their grandmother. Oh, yeah. Their grandmother actually, she just told a quick story. It was just kind of like, you know, I now that, I, now that I've told this story, there is no need for character development. <laughs> Go! <Yeah. laughs> just help him. Mm-hmm. Help this boy. He will begin to change hearts. Go help this boy. He will need you to. Shit, Grandma just wanted to get them. The f- <laughs> <laughs> you go help this boy because yeah. I ain't gonna. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. Shit, Grandma got a man on the side somewhere. <laughs> yeah, y'all keeping her from getting some dick. Y'all, <laughs> y'all go. Yeah, help, yeah, help this boy. This boy needs y'all's help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But poor kid, y'all gonna leave him like that? <laughs> and it's because it was real. It just came out of nowhere at the beginning of the movie. Like, we found him. He's our responsibility. He's like, no, he's not. There are moments in here where it seems like they are going, that that they're about to do something cool. Aang, he visits a a monk's temple and he meditates and he goes into this 
this other world throughout this trance. And he starts talking to a dragon. I don't know the f- why he's talking to a dragon, but shit, it's a dragon. All right, something cool is going to happen here. I mean, he's talking to a dragon. I have seen a vision of the moon turning red. The Fire Nation has stolen knowledge oh, of... F- he's doing more exposition. <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> Breathe fire or something. <laughs> now I'm going to breathe this exposition on you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus. So even his visions, his, his, his meditation is for exposition. Because it's a joke when they don't have these characters actually uh, 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 form natural relationships. Where they don't have character development with each other. Because then later on, what do they do? They try to make it seem like they know each other years mm-hmm. i'm going to miss you oh god please don't go don't sacrifice yourself and the other world i will always think about you don't make me any more scared i will miss you more than you know you bitches just met yeah that's a goddamn tender date y'all act like y'all been knowing that y'all y'all been engaged for years i mean with the way the movie plays it out it feels it feels like they've known each other for like two hours and we don't even see that actually a narrator tells us that they fell in love <laughs> for all the time that they've been there so i mean yep. show don't tell come on he said yep. these are simple rules to follow it's funny i was just recently uh re-watching those episodes and the show that lead up to that it's heartbreaking. Yeah. But this, you're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I wouldn't know because I'm just watching this dumb shit right here. The, the biggest problem with the movie is that when you tell your story through exposition, when you don't develop characters, when, you're ex- when your story is exposition, it feels like it's choppy and popping all over the place. At that point, you don't know what the hell is happening. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you what this show is about, is about at all. If I had just watched this and knew nothing about the show and all the popularity of it, I'd be like, why the f*** are you watching that show? And see, that's why it made everybody so pissed. Because it's like, man, if you've never watched this show and the first thing you saw was this movie, oh, yeah. then you would go like, oh, I, never, I would never watch that show. It's probably dumb. Yeah. I'm, you know, I watched this and I'm thinking, there's things I just don't know what's happening. Why is, why is this chick sacrificing herself to fish? I don't know. I mean, they said some things, but it's still, mm-hmm. it's still incomprehensible. It's just weird. It's just weird shit that just happens. Because once, once things start getting weird, some things that might be even normal, they get weird too. <laughs> like your boy over here. Why is this man in the middle of a, about to start a war? They about to start a war. Why is he starting to give a concert? You know, it was funny because he looked at them like, shit, watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do it, do it with me now, right? Yeah. We're all do it together? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you practice, right? <laughs> he looked at them like, all right, y'all remember our cue, right? <laughs> Flash mob. <laughs> Look, yeah. Y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> he, he thought he was on America's Got Talent oh, or some man. shit. <laughs> if that had been a concert, that would have been cool. <laughs> You thought he was on some Celine Dion shit. (laughs) There are some things in here that give hints of the movie that it could have been. Hints. Hints. There is one action scene in here. There's a fight scene that I thought was actually pretty cool. When he came down, he fought this whole army. No. Well, I, I'm again, I'm coming in there with having seen this episode it's based on, which is one yeah. of the most popular episodes of all time with, with incredible choreography. And the thing that bothers me about it is I hate just slow motion in general. Yeah. Because it just it's feels just, like you're, you're, you're shooting around the fact that these actors can't actually fight. I mean, I'm sure, listen, I'm sure that, uh, that the, the guy that plays Aang, like he, he does actually know martial arts, but not to the degree that it needs to be <laughs> for yeah. a live action film, right? The same thing with Dev Patel. <laughs> That guy wasn't even kicking at anything. Let's go, go back a little what, what bit. That guy in the background was not even kicking at anybody. He was just doing. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, hold on. Which yeah, one? No, no. Yeah, watch that guy in the back. That's guy in the back right there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he kicking at? He was so, he wow. Kicked, you know what? He thought he was doing something. He kicked nothing. When, when I saw it, I thought he was shooting fire from his from his foot. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> that, no. It came out. It came out. But screen. that yeah, that came from behind his head. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna be here stinking. <laughs> but that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, like they, you, your your brain picks up on that. Mm-hmm. They're like, mm-hmm. man, it's a bunch of action and, and spinning around, but <laughs> there's no consequences here. And Chris, the slow motion make and uh, the slow motion makes it easier to see too. Yeah. <laughs> the, the terribleness. Well, the, yeah. Chris is right, boy. He thought he was doing some bad shit. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> watch it all, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Death Patel. I thought that there was one scene where he showed some good acting. 
if he was given something. You know, he's angry with through, throughout the film, but if they if he had done if he had done a scene where that anger had been applied with the right dialogue and you know, just a better scene or a better film, I thought that this particular scene right here, we he cause a boy to come over and tell him about the uh about the prince who was him, so he could prove a point to his uncle. I thought this was good. Tell me what you know about the prince. Then Prince Zuko was sentenced to an Agni key duel. But when he showed up, it was his father. And even this shit is more <clears throat> exposition. Yeah. <laughs> Thought the bull, that that big ass flying buffalo, or whatever. I thought that that bison. was kind. Of, what's his name? It, it, his name is Appa, but he's a flying bison. Bison. Okay. See, I don't know, you, but you know, looking at this, I was just like, all right, you know what? That looks kind of cool. I know, man. Look, it's that a face looks it, so weird, and just, there's no warmth coming from it. It is, but if it had been for like a, if this had, you know, if they had directed this in the spirit of being like a kids movie, it would have been like, well, the, the special effects aren't better. I mean, are you know they're not great. They could have been better, mm. but. Uh, being that's in such a serious movie that just looks out of place but I thought this would have been cool had this captured the spirit of the show mm -hmm. and that would have worked and by the way they bring his his big ass in and he just disappears like what you parked this they don't know what to do with him they don't, yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah they really don't yeah He's such an. I mean, we think that we just think of Appa sometimes as the, the mode of transportation, but he has his own arc. Yeah. He is. He means so much to Ain, and that that is never. He's, you never even. You never sense any warmth coming from Ain towards Appa. No, no. Yeah, it's such yeah. a mistake. Uh, yeah, Appa's a central character. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why Nickelodeon chose this man to do this? I don't know. I, th I think he petitioned for it. Yeah. He he had a proposal, and and he had this whole thing of how he wanted to make it more Asian. So his whole thing was. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna make the, the pronunciations of the names more Asian, which he, he didn't, um, and then include a lot of Indian people in it as well. But that also came with including white people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it's, it, it, that was a huge, huge mistake. It was arrogant and, what yeah. he did. Mm -hmm. It was, <clears throat> and, and it's, you know what, I blame the studio too. Sure. So y'all chose him to do a fantasy kids movie in which about four years before this film, he f***ed up his own family kids movie. Mm -hmm. Now, writer and director M. Night Shyamalan. Do you wish to know your future? It is about to get very dangerous. You know, he f***ed up his own kids movie. Why are you going to let him mess up yours? You, you saw his track record. Man, I think it's a Hollywood thing and just him having a name. The mm -hmm. idea that they wanted to get this movie made Probably had a lot of people go like, yeah, that's I can't do it. That's unfilmable. But he comes pumped up with a proposal, mm -hmm. and he's got that name, M. Night Shyamalan. That's going to get interest in it. Even people going, I just want to see what he does with this. <laughs> I know that worked on me. I was like, okay, sure. let's uh, see what's going to happen here. He was on the Times cover, the next Spielberg that oh, got yeah. to his head and everyone else. And and uh, right before he, he did this film, I think with the exception maybe of uh, Lady in the Water, like everything had been a commercial success for him. Mm-hmm. The studio deserved what they got with this. He was clearly the complete wrong person for this. It was this was out of his league to do this. Uh, you know, this is some old bullshit for me, hmm. but I can understand if the fans had saw this and they had something they, you know, this beloved property and it's ruined for them. I could I could see this being a fuck you for them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, completely, <laughs> yeah, very much so. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, no. This 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 is to me is one of it, this was the worst movie of of the previous decade. I absolutely despise this film <laughs> in every fiber of its being. Um, but, I mean, yeah, as you as you point out, Corey, terrible dialogue, exposition heavy. None of the actors do a good job. You know, the, the people who are okay, they still I don't. I, they, they're not given anything to do mm -hmm. and the thing that's like okay well maybe at least the action scenes would be really cool because the show had amazing choreography and so many battles you can point to every other episode and say like that was so cool to see this has absolutely none of it no, this is the very definition of a f you film I was surprised at how bad this actually was it exceeded expectations mm -hmm. <laughs> no I, I like, like I said I don't watch it but when there's a chance to just flip it on I go huh let me just refresh to make sure. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is way worse than I thought it was. A poorly made movie. Yeah. Mm. This is like, this is spending 150. Uh, you have a guy who's made a name for himself in Hollywood after making several movies. You have, you have actors who have done their jobs for years. And this looks like a $150 million amateur project. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. 
It's I mean, it's, you almost have to get this credit mm-hmm. for up 150 million dollars like that. I'm impressed. I really am. <laughs>